All right, the task at hand today is to fix this welder. Let's dig it out of this corner and get it in the light. Lincoln Electric Power MIG 210 MP. I found this welder in a storage unit. We do storage unit auctions, you know, every now and then. I just bought a small Lincoln like this. Brand new, never even used it. It was sitting on this cart. Found this one and, you know, Googled the two of them. Realized this was a way better welder. So I was like, oh, I'll just sell the new one and use this one. Now I knew these two knobs were broke off when I found it, of course. So I was like, oh, you know, no big deal. Bought two knobs, had them coming. Came out to go fix it one day and was like, oh, something's wrong here. Missing the little doodads that the knob screw to. Did some research on that, realized I gotta replace the circuit board behind that. Looked that circuit board up, it was $400. So I've procrastinated for, you know, about a year now, I would say, buying that. Searching eBay, of course, it's not really something that pops up for sale used. So I have a little job for this thing. You know, it's like my little portable one. I got the big one over there that we basically use for everything here, but now I need the little portable guy. So I broke down and bought the $400 board. Let's get that switched out. I can't believe that was $400. Hi, caramba. There she is, in all her $400 glory. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's a jip. I even have to unscrew it and reuse this. That's stupid. There's more of the broken. I mean, I suppose if you could have like got those pieces and soldered them in this board, I don't know. $400. I wonder if I could sell this piece on eBay like broken, you know, like maybe someone broke their screen and they want to try to rebuild their board or maybe they need some of these other parts. We'll probably, we'll probably try to recoup some of our money. Like maybe, maybe someone will give me like 50 bucks for this or something.
All right, well, let's plug it in and see what it does. <laughs> um, that must be too much for my circuit breaker. All right, I moved the welder to the outlet closest to the power box there. I think all the lights and the, uh, the refrigerator and all that runs off that side. So let's try this over here. This kind of concerns me because I don't know if the dude's house is going to be able to power this welder or not. Not bad for flux. I mean, that's gonna work. We're just welding on the inside of his fireplace. That's no big deal. I'm cool. I think just I got too much on that circuit too. So hopefully we'll just find a good circuit in this house, plug into it, and weld her up. Let's uh, head out there and do that. Let's go. I get a little bit of a fix. 